Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chidede Mewaku GBK and today I'll be teaching you guys how to add an extra or an additional load on your beam when you are actually modeling your structure. So you might be wondering why do we need to add this extra load? This video is here to answer that question. Before we get into the matter of the day, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel if you're making contact with my channel for the first time i'd love for you to do that because you are going to be getting first hand notification when i drop a video subsequently also for my subscribers i'd love to shout out to you guys and say you're amazing continue sharing my videos also make comments where you don't understand i will be there to answer and give you some advice that i feel will be helpful so without much ado, let's get into the business of the day. So now I'll be using two examples of load, which is the point load and the UDL. Now these are our topmost beam, which is on our story two. Now the load coming from the roof acts as a UDL on this beam through the roof just so the load from the roof will act as a UDL when it lands here because the roof just will be on this beam so how do we account for that load yes that is what one way we'll be accounting for a UDL that will be acting at this beam another particular load I want to talk about is the point load so let's go to story one now let's assume that let's assume that this particular beam a machine is sitting two meter away from the left hand side of the beam how do we account for that machine that is sitting at two meter from the left hand side of this beam or let's say a lift the base of this lift is at two meter from the left hand side of the beam how do we account for that particular load that will be acting at 2 meter from the left hand side of the beam now basically it's quite simple first of all I'm going to give example using the point load so for this if you're using portal structure 2021 you can just click on edit member load over here immediately after you've highli uh, highlighted your beam or you can right click and click on edit member load now you can click on new load you can click on point load this particular symbol here indicate point load why this indicates udl so reference x is simply telling you where on this line is this load acting on this is the zero point and this is 4.5 meter that indicates the total length of the beam so let's say I say 2 meter from the left hand side so I can put 2 meter now let's say the load acting as a result of the foot of the machine or let's say a lift that is placed at that beam the base of this lift that is placed on the beam is 10 kilo newton why the live load as a result of people going into that lift and coming out is 2 kilo newton and we click on ok now you can see that there is a load which is 10 the dead load and 2 for the live load and the point it's acting on which is 2 2 meter from the left hand side so like with this done we can simply click on ok and we have inserted that live load sorry that point load acting two meter away from the left hand side of this beam to account for that particular load so I would want to go to story 2 to explain for the for the UDL from the 3D view let's assume that we want to use this particular beam so this particular beam will be this let's assume that the roof jaws is sitting on this beam which is going to be transmitting a UDL to this beam so we can just click edit member load for those using Porter Structure 21 or we go through the method we used earlier so I will just click edit member load and I 
I'll click on new load and I'll click here which signifies UDL now the let's say the load the roof just will be transmitting from the roof to the beam is 8 kN per meter and let's assume that the live load is 1 kN and we click on OK you can see our dead load which is signified as G is given as 8 and our live load which is given as 1 kN per meter so with this we can just click on OK and we have added that load over here now let's also assume something that this particular load is also transmitted to this beam and to this beam the just the roof just is sitting on this across the length of this beam how do we move this UDA with copy there to this area we simply click on this beam and we right click and we click on copy manual load now we click on this beam now to highlight it and we right click and we click on paste okay we've, we have to go back again to click on this so that we can copy it again we click on this and we click copy manual load we highlight this beam and we click paste copied beam load and we click on yes so you see I just had to open the edit member load to see for myself if it has been copied you can see we have a G of 8 that was inserted in this other beam and a live load of 1 kN that was added to this beam to indicate the load from the roof so we are good to go using this format of copying you copy the member load you paste it on the other member let's also try it for the next one we come here we copy manual load and come over here and paste copied beam load all manual load defined in the selected beam will be replaced by the load copy to the clipboard yes and we can just edit member load so we can see for step you can see we have a dead load of 8 and a live load of 1 kilo newton that has been added to the beam so we can close and that is it for today I also love that you share my videos to other people that might find it insightful and educative and once you're done with this you can then do your analysis do not do your analysis first before you do this ensure you do this before you run your analysis thank you and god bless you